Cross and Bob, those uh, weather radios may be useful in the next few days. Good timing on Becky's part and the Red Cross because they were buzzing uh, late this afternoon to our east. Matter of fact, in Dallas County, the radio was going off for severe thunderstorm warning. And uh, the nasty weather right now is in extreme northeast Texas from Dallas on to the north and east. Dallas County, Collin County, uh, Kaufman Hunt, all under severe thunderstorm warnings. There was even a rotating wall cloud in southeast Dallas County, but nothing touched. Down, thank goodness. More showers and thunderstorms, I think, are going to develop probably in about four or five hours to our northwest and move on down. The strongest ones probably will wait until uh, late and they'll be to our southeast because we're going to start to get on the cool side of this system and it is going to be very cool. Wait till you see the forecast. We're talking very chilly weather for this time of year. Humidity really surged back. Last couple of days, very, very dry. Today, very humid. So when that cooler air bumped into the very moist air, and uh, we had the ignition of the showers and thunderstorms right along the front. The problem is this cold front that you see on this map is just about to become stationary. It's going to position itself right across North Texas. That means the battle, the two air masses will be battling right across our vicinity. So every time we get a little impulse in the jet stream aloft coming across, we're going to ignite showers and thunder showers across the area. I don't think we're going to be talking about severe weather for the next few days because we'll be on the cool side of the system, but beneficial rains may be too much rain in a few locations. But one thing's for sure, even though the tornado watch continues to our northeast, all the showers have dissipated for the time being, but probably in about four or five hours, they're going to develop up here in the cool air behind the system and move on down into North Texas. Don't be surprised to hear the rumble of thunder again in the middle part of the night as the showers begin. 78, it's still warm right now, even though winds have come around to the north, but notice they're still out of the south and southeast just to our south. And this front is about to stall and then kind of just meander back and forth over the next uh, 24 hours or so. So you can see it here. Look what happens late tonight with the showers developing just south of the Red River during the day tomorrow. The front maybe sags a little farther to the south, kind of reinforcing the cooler air here. So we'll be drop about 20 degrees from today's highs. 20 degrees brings us into the 60s tomorrow. Then it gets cooler than that for Monday. So a chilly day tomorrow, showers, thunder showers as we head into Monday. Another upper level system comes across. More cold rain showers, maybe a little bit of thunder from time to time. And this is what the model says. Look at this. This is just one of the models. Look at northeast Texas. Maybe four or more inches of rain up there. We could see anywhere from one to three between now and Monday. And highs tomorrow, as I mentioned, much cooler, 60s, then 50s on Monday. Showers and thunderstorms developing late, middle 60s. We're going to stay in the 60s tomorrow, not going anywhere temperature-wise. Winds out of the north, northeast at 15 to 20. Look at the highs on Monday. Very, very cool, but beautiful weather will return Tuesday. Becky's got your forecast each morning on the